going to show you. See this little house right here? If I touch it, it's going to say OK to delete on the screen. And I'm going to say OK. And everything's gone. So there's shortcuts too. The house will always take you home. It will always take you back to the beginning. And it will always say, is it OK to delete? And you say, OK. And if you're going, oh, wait, no, I, I didn't say my design. I don't want you to. That's why I always ask. So don't be afraid of the machine. If you push a button and you're not sure, it's going to tell you. And unless you say, OK, delete, you can't get it back once you do that. OK? So this one here, monograms. You see monogram towels. People are doing a lot of them for the holidays. Monograms on scarves, on sweaters, on pretty much anything. You can do monograms in here as well. Your next thing right in here, that was the alphabet. This is the Greek alphabet. This is the floral alphabet. This is the Renaissance alphabet. The Renaissance alphabet is a letter, and it has flowers and things around it and borders for every letter. So you can do a little, um, they're like a little bit of square, like this big. And it's a letter that you can do. You can't make them any bigger? You can make them 10 to 20% bigger. Anything can be 10 to 20% bigger in the machine. And then that was your pocket for memory. But these little icons down here you might recognize from the computer. Once you get a design, let's say you go to an embroidery library online and you download a design. And the format this machine reads, there's several, but the most common one it will read is PES. Okay, so dot PES. So if you go and let's say you purchase a design online and you save it, it's PES, it's the one you want, you can save it to a memory stick. Just a little jump drive. That memory stick will fit right here in the side of the machine. Okay. So just take it. Put it in the machine. And when you touch this icon, it's now reading what's on here. Now, if you have homework or something on here, and PDF files and Word files, it will show you the folder. But as soon as you open it, it will be empty because it doesn't know what to do with that. So it's okay to have those designs on the same memory stick. The one you want to look for is the one where you have put designs. Okay. Some designs in here. Okay. These three designs that I happen to put on here are very large designs. These are the ones that will go in your 14 by 14 design, in your hoop, in that big hoop. So if I were to take, let's say, the Christmas tree, <coughs> and I touch the first part, that's the top half of the design. All right. If I sew this out with the large hoop on, it's then going to stop and it's going to tell me to rotate the design. And when I come back, I will show you, I'll come back in probably about a month, and I will show you how to do split designs. Because you have an awesome machine to do. I mean, you can do a whole shirt back. If you look at the jackets and stuff, they're awesome. If you create your own designs in the software program, I'll show you how to split them, and you can put them on the screen and blow them out. They're really fun to do, because this is one of the few machines that will split and put them back together on the machine. And it's one of the few machines that has a camera in it. Ready for a camera? There's a camera for placement. Okay. You have a shirt, so imagine you've got a shirt, it has a pocket, and you want to put a design above that pocket. So we want to use the camera. So let me come back out of here. And let's come in here. And I'm going to here. And I'm just going to pick this little heart right here. Okay, I want that heart to be above my pocket. But I'm not sure where it is on my shirt. So what I'm going to do is set it on the screen. And I'm going to end edit because I'm not going to add anything to it. And there's a little snowman right here. You see that snowman? Yeah. Um, in that lid on the top, there was all the stickers of the snowman. Put them down here. Oh wait, there's some right here. Now, when we used to do embroidery, when we first were doing embroidery, we used to have to mark our garment with water-soluble pins. We'd have to mark our garment where the center of our design is, where the horizontal line was, how exactly how we wanted it. And then we had to hoop it perfectly straight in the hoop so the design would be exactly where we wanted it. But now with this technology, we use snowman. 
So let's imagine I wanted to put an embroidery design right here. All I had to do was take the snowman. Snowman, the head is always the top, right? It's the smallest one. So that's how you use these stickers. The head is the smallest. The belly button is where the crosshairs are. So that's the center of your design. That's all you have to remember about the sticker. You put the sticker right where you want it. You say, that's where I want my design. I want it exactly like that. So then when you hoop, and you might want to check this. Let's say I want to put this right there. I'm going to take this off and show it to you where I positioned it. That's not straight. It's not in the center of the hoop. It's crooked. It doesn't matter. Because what I'm going to do is put this on. I'm going to show you how easy, it is, how easy it is to do your design. So I'm going to touch the snowman now. And it's going to come up and it says select the area in the hoop you want it to go to or just leave it and it'll look for it. Well, I know that this is over on this side of the hoop, but it could be in the center or not. So all I'm going to do is say, you just go find it. I don't, I don't want to tell you where to go. And what it's going to do, it's telling me the machine's going to move. It's always going to ask you before it does something. It says, I'm going to move. Is that okay? And you say, okay. Now, if you want to look closer, what's happening is a camera is coming up on here. It's looking for the snowman. When it finds the snowman, it's going to take that heart and it's going to put it at that angle and at that position. If I am outside, it's going to tell me I'm too close. Right now, I cannot recognize the embroidery positioning mark because I am too close. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to move it over. And scan again. Okay. We were too close to what? I was outside of the area and I told it to look. And also, if I had put it too close to the hoop edge, let's say the design was really big, and I put it right next to the hoop edge, it's going to say, I can't do that because my embroidery is going to hit the hoop and I'll get my needle. Do you see what it said? It's finding it. It's adjusting. Now it says remove the mark. I'm going to say, okay, I take that off. That's it. It's on there. If I say, close, and I go to sewing, it says my first, oh, happens to know. It doesn't know that, but I have red on here. So all I have to do now is change. This number two is white. Okay, that's the second color. But see where I have it clear over here on number nine? Is my white one? So I want to tell it, don't go to number two because that's blue and I want white there. So here's how you switch your colors. You touch the number two. Come down here, so there's a little symbol. It's got two spools of thread and they're going like this at each other. So like switch. So what I'm going to do is touch that icon. And I'm going to say take number nine and switch it with number two. And do that. So now when I close, it is going to come and it's going to pick it up right here. And switch them. So let's go back and do it again. Okay. Nine, <coughs> two. Nope, I didn't hit this. I didn't hit down a turn. Nine, two, switch. And that's over here now. And now when I say close, There we go. Okay, so now it knows the colors that it wants. Right here, it says on the side right here, first color is uh, red, second color is white, and it knows it's going to go to position number nine. This design, all the information, the first part, the red would take five minutes, the white is going to take the rest of the total for nine minutes. It tells you total, but it tells you how much the color is going to go. Okay. And then it tells me right here, there's two colors. I haven't done any of that yet. There's 2,725 stitches in here on this design. But the other part is, look at my design right here. 